right. Here, Jacob Pierce, one and one, fighting out of Louisville Combat Academy here in Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, sir. Uh, give me your thoughts on your opponent, Jacob Ricks. Um, He's an exciting guy. Um, it's the first time I feel like I'm really going to be able to stand up and fight with somebody. You know, he brings, he, I'll give it to him, he brings the fight, you know. Um, I, I love the matchup for myself. Um, and I'm, I'm very excited. I think this is going to be the the one to where I can actually showcase some of my skills. Uh, I mean, I've showed a lot of takedown defense in my first two fights, and I'm, I'm really excited to be able to stand up and, and do some strike hits. Okay. I'm excited to see it as well. Uh, tell the people out there that don't know you how you got started. In um... I'm not I'm not a Jorge Masvidal, but I just grew up like watching it, and I would do backyard fights with my friends, and you know it, I would watch it like watch UFC, and I'd be like I want to do this, so let's just go to the backyard and we'll do some matchup. We do like a whole we'd have like a whole matchup system and everything, and uh, but that's how I I was like I just love to fight, and uh, and then I got into the military, and I always wanted to make the Fort Hood Combative Team, right? And uh, I got down there, I was starting to train. And then I uh, had a back injury, and then I wasn't allowed to train. But that's really kind of sparked uh, me wanting to fight, you know. So then I came back here and uh, uh, went to Real Fighters. Uh, then I um, trained there for like a year, a little over a year. Uh, I actually went to Area 502 for about six months. Um, and then I made it uh, I made it over here to Louisville Combat. I've been here for two years, um, training with the Ferguson's and AJ Jenkins. And it's been great. All right. Um, tell us something that we might not know about Jacob Pierce. That's tough. Um, I enjoy I enjoy writing. Um, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Nobody would. Nobody would. I, I enjoy writing. I like poetry. Yeah. Stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more softer side of myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. So we're not gonna put Jacob in a box. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's the biggest advantage to training at Louisville Combat Academy? Um, I have to say the knowledge of Taz Ferguson. Um, he has just a way of simplifying a very complicated subject. Like, uh, you know, he can just, he, it, it's just, he has the perfect way to describe things to me. Like, and I think everybody here can te attest to that. And, um, uh, it's just, it's great to be his little pupil, you know? Right. It's great to learn from him. So I think that's it. Okay, 20 years down the road, you're going to be 41 years old. Yeah, Daniel Cormier. What does the MMA career of Jacob Pierce look like, looking back in 20 um, years? I would like to be able to, to give back. I want to, I mean, the main goal for me is to be a, a great coach. You know, like my coaches, you know, like like BJ, Taz, AJ. Um, I, I just want to be a great coach. Uh, I want to be able to, you know, if my kids want to be in it, I want to be able to teach them stuff that, that I always want to learn growing up. Um, and I just want to have, like, a, like I want my kids to be able to go back and watch my fights and be like, you know, my dad fought his ass off every time, you know. That's that's a big goal for me. And, okay. You know, that's why I do it. I just, I guess, for the legacy of it. And Nice. All right. Last but not least, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Yes. Talk to me about your debut fight. Um, it was very <laughs> controversial. It, I still, you know, I could be 20 and one and I would still think about that fight, you know, because it just, it, it didn't get finished how it should have, you know. Um, I got Final round. We'll see if it'll be more of the same from Connors who wants to have a what I described as being a deliberate wrestling approach to control the position on the ground. Or... This is where the ringside physician, Alex, gets a chance to clean you up. Yeah, we hope both guys are okay for sure. A lot of blood coming out. Yeah, this has to be a no contest. Um, I got a loss for something like an illegal shot that just never, never happens. I, I've never heard of it, you know. And right. I feel like 
I, since I'm not the only one that thinks that way, I'm like, you know, that shouldn't be a loss. Um, you know, it, it's no big deal. It's amateur. You know, my record's going to go away when, once I turn pro, whatever that may be. Um, but, you know, I, I have some good takeaways from that fight. But it has a sour taste in my mouth. You know, I, the, and, and what makes it worse is I lost by split decision. So I still have Ladies and gentlemen, both fighters were cut. And due to the fact that both of them would not be able to continue the way a fight is scored is that you score the fight up until the moment where it was called to a stop. For the so injuries. I still had a chance in that fight. It's not like I was just getting completely smashed for two rounds or whatever. And, and then at the third, after I had uh, defended the takedown, um, we had seen that you know he was tired from, from grappling with me the whole time. And I was really, I mean, my cardio, I, I pride myself on my cardio. Yeah. And, that, and before we went out, BJ was like, this is the round. We gotta you know, push the pace this, this time. And that was when we were gonna really go for that finish. And I think I'm explosive enough and prou powerful enough to be able to finish a fight, you know, it, even later into the rounds. Like, I, I definitely could have seen myself getting a knockout or anything like that, but we'll never know because, you know, Ohio they, they called, the, called the fight off a legal shot. So, you know, it is what it is, but I'll, I'll never forget about that one. But, it, it, but in turn, you know, that whole situation, that, that whole fight, it changed everything. You know, I'm glad uh, I got wrestled that fight, yeah. you know, because now you go to my second fight and I think he shot 12 takedowns and got one because I was being dumb, you know. But, you, you know, I, I just learned from it. And, and that's, that's, all, that's what amateur is about is yes. learning, you know. Yes, sir. All right, February 1st, come see Jacob Pierce.